is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logo that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Now says I'm going to check out the video. What is good, YouTube? You thought I was done, but I'm here again. We're going to talk about Patrick Beverly getting his bread. He, he deserves it. He has really took some good contracts, some fair contracts. He worked his way back into the league was grossly underpaid, one of the most respected and loved people around the whole entire NBA. Most people will even vouch for him saying that if I had to pick a teammate or I wanted to pick a guy that's available, I want Beverly on my team. He fights, he goes hard, he's not scared and don't back it down from nobody. And to be fair, Patrick Beverly was a guy that just was a good defender. He has turned himself into a respectable three-point shooter. Not only has he done that, um, he has shown that he can finish at the paint. He shows that he's more versatile defensively than he was when he first came into the league. And he shows you that he's a starting caliber point guard. His playmaking has improved. Um, his shot is a lot more consistent than it was. He's not going to scare you and get you 25, 30 points, but he's a guy that's going to work hard and give you all that he got and never quit. Um, he's a fighter. He's a warrior. Um, and for the Clippers to reward him with the type of money that they're giving him, and he's a 30-year-old player getting the type of commitment that he has gotten from this Clipper team with this contract, um, which is three years, and you're basically making a good living now off the money that he was getting compared to this contract. So I like Patrick Beverly. The injuries have been a problem. But when he's available, he goes out there and gives it his all, and I love that about him. When you look at this Clipper roster um, last year, they they have all the dirty work players. These players are fighting to stay in the NBA. These players are fighting to prove something. These players are showing that they're willing to put their bodies, that whatever they can, on the line. And you don't want to break up that that tough nose, that blue collar, that underrated, that that proven chip on your shoulders type players. A lot of these get, players are outcasts. A lot of these players was gave up on. A lot of these players nobody wanted to pay. Nobody believed in. And they have all come together and made the playoffs and gave Golden State a fight. But what I will say is there's a lot of talent on this roster. It, it, it really is. It's a lot of talent on this roster. And Patrick Beverly gives them a veteran presence and a guy that people love and want to play with and a guy that you don't mind going to war and battle with, especially in the tough playoff series. And he's a guy that can get his hands on balls. He's a guy that can get out in transition. He's a guy that can even guard bigger players. Like I said, his versatility has been on display. He will go and guard anybody that you ask him to, and he will have your back as a teammate. He'll call you out when you need to be called out, and he'll tell you where you're supposed to be offensively and defensively, so that way y'all can go play the right type of basketball and all be on the same page. So I love me some Patrick Beverly. I'm happy that he got his commitment. I'm happy that he found the home, and I'm happy that he got paid the money that he deserved. I feel like this is something that a lot of us wanted to see, and we are glad that it happened, even if it wasn't with the Clippers. But if I had to pick a town and a city, and especially now since the grit and grind Grizzlies are gone, this is the town, this is the city. The Clippers been the second brother. The Clippers don't get a lot of shine. They don't get a lot of respect. They living in a, they, they living in a gym that is owned to the Lakers. And Patrick Beverly fits Doc Rivers. And he fits with the team that they're trying to go for. Now it's just about taking his team to the next level. And you want to do that with Lou. You want to do that with Harold. You want to do that with Beverly. Those are the engines. Those are the main players that come to play and really want to fight. You can throw Shaman in there too because he was a guy that was just threw into a trade. And he went out there and performed at a high level for the playoffs and for the rest of the season. So at the end of the day, I got nothing but love and respect for the Clippers. And all they have to do now is get one of those big dominoes to come. So that way they can be a legitimate team in the West. I feel like the West has only got tougher as watching free agency today. The weaker teams got better. And the teams that we thought was young, they got a little bit older.
and they got the talent to go along with it. So the Clippers are a team that's falling behind a little bit in terms of talent. But when it comes to grit, grind, hard work, and never give up attitude, they're going to fight till they lost the game. If they don't lose the game, they're going to fight until it's over. And that's what you want to play for. That's what you want to be a part of. The problem is you got to get somebody that actually comes. And that's something that really has hurt the Clippers the last couple of years. If they don't draft or trade for the player, they don't get that player. So now you might have to pack in some of these guys to get them. Or you might have to try to get lucky in free agency. We'll see what Kawhi Leonard does. He was rumored that he would go. If that's the case, he'd be a perfect fit. A fighter, a defender, guard multiple positions, can shoot and handle the ball, and dominate the game at a high level. Only problem is, will that be enough to turn them into a championship contenders in the, contender in the West? They was waiting patiently to get two max players, and I think they really do need that if they're going to win it all. Only problem is, there's not that much left when this video is being made. So that's going to be the problem is getting that second guy if you do still get Kawhi Leonard later today. If not, you're just going to be stuck in a situation where you need that other piece to get over the hump. And maybe they get it, maybe they don't. We won't know until we see how the rest of free agents plays out and how the rest of the season plays out. But right now, they got the right type of talent, the right type of coach, and then got the right type of environment and thinking. Now it's just about putting the rest of the pieces together and getting over the hump. Love you, Pat Beverly. Glad to see you get paid. Glad to see you get an extension. And glad you stayed with the Clippers after what they all built on and did last year. A lot of people counted them out. A lot of people felt they weren't going to make it to the playoffs. And I was one of them. But they proved me wrong. And I, I actually picked them to win two games against Golden State. And they did that. So I guess I made up for it after picking against them not making the playoffs. But <laughs> I take that at the end of the day. Let me know what you guys think about this um, Clippers team. Let me know what you guys think about the contract. And let me know what you guys think about Patrick Beverly coming back and, and getting paid the way he deserves to be. He's 30. He's getting older. So you got to at least get one payday in there. And he has been able to do that this season. I mean, it's off season right now. So it's good vibes for him. And I know he's happy. And I know he's ready to go to war with or without a superstar. But that's how he always been. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Thanks for everybody that likes on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that likes the videos. Thanks for everybody that comments. I like the activity that you guys have shown. I answer comments that make sense, if that makes sense. And also, at the end of the day, if you like this video, check out my older videos on my channel. I have many playlists. I break down rookies. I break down players. I break down summer league players. I do cover the draft, and I got a mock draft up already. Not only that, I do podcasts, and I also talk about the game of basketball, whether it comes to summer league, free agency, trade deadline, buyouts, and also I cover top 10 discussions and stuff like that. So you like this type of video, you like the NBA, check out my older videos and my playlists. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching. I'm going.